Bird's Eye View of the Natural World by John Farden and Paul Boston. So you get about a dozen or so um, like bird's eye views of different places, flying around the world, water and grass, flying in the tropics, the great walks, rocks, um, arctic flight. So you, you do get some variety. Um, like the pages would like how they're done are like would take up the whole like two pages and they are pretty visual you don't the um, illustration takes more over than the writing so this is like bird um, travel path so and like on the bottom you get uh, like where it is in the world that they're talking about and different animals so like um, Everglade birds hammocks and islands um, and like sometimes you get like the vegetation and this one's like the tree that's there so well, that's like a wide screenshot of uh, one of the pages um, so, like, as you can blurrily see, not totally, um, you get more visual than, and you get, like, snippets of information, or, like, that, than, like, the snippets and stuff, um, but, yeah, it talks about different places around the world, it gives a uh, aerial view. It does give um, information about like the plants and animals that do live there. Um, images are really nicely done. So, like, so like your kid, kid or whoever you're looking after, isn't over overwhelmed by like the information. They get that visual with the um, quick info as well. Um, yeah, so it's not a long book and it's very quick, so if you or, um, somebody you know, like your kid or, or niece or whatever has an interest in, like, maps or, like, nature, like, or want to get them, knowing, the, like, the connection in nature and everything, um, I think this is really nice book to have a look at. And yeah, bird's eye view, the natural world. Happy readings.